Hello, thank you so much for tuning in to the Online Thriving Family Workshop presented by myself, Krista Rialta, and my team, Luscious Life Design. So this is me, I'm Krista, and here are my boys, my awesome family, I love them so much. And I am a mom of these two guys, and I'm also an entrepreneur, and I've been self-employed for about seven years, I'm a yoga instructor, and I love, love, love what I do so much. And I'm so excited to share with you the information that we share together in, Lush, in, this, um, in this workshop that we typically do live. But right now it's online, The Thriving Family. So we'll be sharing with you everything that we know, all the tips that we have to truly thrive as a family. Uh, Luscious Life Design is a global tribe of holistic entrepreneurs from here where I am in Ontario all the way to Australia and everywhere in between. We are online, but we are a tight-knit community that truly, truly supports as many people as we can and also each other to thrive, to thrive in every way possible. We lift each other up and together we rise together and we help each other achieve our goals. So what we really want to bring to the table here is a village mentality. And when you have a village mentality of taking care of your community, of helping others, of dropping any um, competition or sort of keeping up with the Joneses kind of thing and focus more on really helping, helping your fellow neighbor, your mom, you know, the family in your community to thrive, that we could truly thrive together. So creating thriving families everywhere. So bringing forth the village mentality, you know, it takes a village, that old saying, and bringing more families together to truly, to truly thrive and lifting people up. So please join the conversation online using the hashtags village mentality and thriving family with our tribe Luscious Life Design. So I'm here to share four, four topics that fit under this thriving family topic. And we hope to really empower you in each one of these categories to take tiny baby steps, you know, different steps, could make small, small changes, little tweaks, totally doable, every single, every single thing we'll be talking about this evening, and how you can make these changes into your family to bring more peace, more happiness, more love, more health, more wealth, more freedom, all those good things. So let's start with self-care. So self-care is taking care of you, taking care of you, the mom, the dad, who's truly, you know, wearing so many hats and has so many responsibilities. And we want to give our absolute best to our children. But we have to remember that old advice that we hear every time we get onto a plane to put on our uh, to put on the oxygen mask first, right? We have to make sure that we are well in every way. We are well physically, mentally that we are truly thriving, that we are the example that we want our children to, to emulate, right? So the reason that self-care is really the first thing that we're talking about, it's really laying down the foundation for everything that it takes to truly thrive as a family is because moms and dads who take care of themselves, they raise amazing kids, right? So this is so, so, so important. And um, this picture here is of a woman named Jen Gruber. And Jen Gruber is one of my mentors, as, as well as many people that I work with. And Jen really walks the walk. She is an incredible, incredible mom, but not because she, you know, she tries to do it all and like, you know, you know, be the mom at all the meetings and making the cookies and whatever that is, you know. She's not trying to be what the typical things that, you know, um, you're supposed to do as a mom. She is making sure that she is a setting a strong, a strong example for her children by pursuing her dreams, by showing self-care to herself, by, by showing what it is to be a strong uh, woman who's not afraid to, you know, to push the envelope or to question things. And that makes her an awesome mom. She practices self-care every single day in many ways, including the ways that we're going to talk about and also a few new ways that I want to open your mind to in terms of the, the topic of self-care. So this, when self-care comes to mind, you may think uh, maybe extravagant things like spa retreats and things like that, but it also means take just the simple ways we take care of ourselves on a daily basis. And 
you know, if your self confidence, if your self worth is 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 low, or you're not like it's just maybe it just happened, you know, with becoming a mom. As crazy as as that is, maybe you know you lost yourself a little bit, and you're just really not taking care of yourself. We have to make sure that we that we shift that adjustment, that we truly love ourselves and show ourselves this in every little thing that we do in the daily basis. So starting with when we wake up in the morning, having a nice glass of water to take care of ourselves because we know we're probably, you know, racing around and getting the kids ready, but you do have time for a nice glass of water, right? That will make you a better mom and obviously taking care of your body is an absolute priority. You know, how can you take care of yourself in little simple ways, right? What are ways that you that you feel totally pampered? What do you need? Um, a colleague of mine, a business partner of mine, uh, she she realized that she just wanted to go to a coffee shop one evening a week for one hour by herself and read a book. And she communicated this with her husband, and of course he was more than happy to to help her with, with this you know desire that she had. And that allowed her to come back to her family feeling refreshed, right? So what are, what are those things for you? What makes you feel refreshed? What makes you feel recharged? Is it a nice long bath? Is it a power nap? Is it taking some time out just for you? And what are those daily little things that you can do to absolutely take care of your body? For me, it's drinking my water, taking my vitamins, moving my body, um, getting enough sleep, even if that means having to squeeze in a nap during the day sometime, like even for a 15 minute nap or something, but making sure that I'm really taking care of myself. It is absolutely not selfish. It's absolutely the opposite of it. It's selfless. If we are not well, we can't be awesome moms and dads, right? Um, and not even just, you know, having low energy and things like that, that potentially could even lead to something more serious down, down the road, right? So it's absolutely, it is our, it's our duty. It's we have to take care of ourselves so that we can, we can be there for our children. Ask yourself, this is a, a, an exercise for you. You're going to give yourself permission right now to jot a few things down. I'm going to explain this exercise and I encourage you to press pause and to just go for this, okay? So it's probably been a while or, you know, probably it wasn't in a while. Uh, maybe it's you know, a long while, maybe it's a few weeks, a few months, I'm not sure. But I want you to give yourself the time to ask you, ask you personally, what do you want to do? And write down five things that come to mind. So ask yourself, what do I want to do in the next year? What are five things that I want to do? Jot them down and then move to the next section. What are five things that I want to have? And this is totally outside of being a mom. What are five things that you want to have? And the next question is, what are five things you want to become? Again, outside of being an awesome mom or dad, you already are that. This is for you. You're always taking care of everyone else, making sure that they have their their new shoes, making sure that they're enrolled in a, a new extracurricular activity. But ask yourself, what do you want to do? What is your soul calling for? What is a desire? What is a longing that you have? Do you want to take a class? Do you want to do you want to paint your walls? Do you want to read a book? Uh, do you want to go on a trip? What are things that you want to do? Write them down. Five things. What are five things that you want to have? Don't judge it. Just write it down. Anything. It can be having a great relationship with a sibling. It can be having a new designer bag. Whatever you want. What are five things you want to have? And five things that you want to become. Do you want to become a yoga instructor? Do you want to become a dancer? Do you want to become... Um, do you want to become multilingual, bilingual? You know, what are five things that you want to become? And again, don't judge it. Just go for it. Press pause and have fun. Remember that our children are watching. And a really important, important thing to ask ourselves is, 
if, is how we're living our days, how we feel about ourselves, how we're treating ourselves. Would we want our grown children to do the same thing, right? Because they're watching us. So it's so, so, so important that we are living lives that we are proud of. Happy, healthy, inspired lives. Your children will become what you are. So be what you want them to be. You don't have to be perfect. But be that person that you would want them to be. And myself and everyone that I work with through Luscious Life Design, we want to empower you to know that you are capable of absolutely anything. And yes, I am an entrepreneur and I love talking about business ideas and dreaming big, big, big. But maybe that is for you. Maybe that's not for you. But I guarantee you have something that you have, that you have kind of in you that you want to bring to the world. But maybe you have kind of, you know, shoved it down or said that you're too old or, you know, you're not qualified or don't have enough money or whatever it is. But you're capable of absolutely anything. So I really want to encourage you to bring those things up to the surface. And if you need people around you that will really encourage you and help you and help you, help you bring that to life, then you're definitely talking to the right people. The person who sent you the video is probably a great person to connect with. One new ritual that I would invite you to bring into your life is something that I personally do and I find it really, really helpful for setting the tone for the next day. Um, it's called evening praise. And it's simply as I'm going to sleep, I just quietly, you know, in my head, I start to list all the things that I did do that day that I'm proud of. The things that I did get done. The things that were a win. You know, what am I proud of that I accomplished that day? And it could be a few things, even in a totally even in a day that did not go my way or, you know, things just like seem so overwhelming, there's still things that I'm very proud of. And I think it's an important thing to do because we can often get lost in, in feeling that, feeling defeated or feeling like overwhelmed because we have so much that we wanted to get done or so much that we needed to get done and everything just didn't get done. But really list to yourself all the things that you did do right as a way to put yourself to sleep. You can write it in a journal if you'd like, or just simply in your head. And if you want to take it one step further, if you're with your partner in the evening as, as you guys fall asleep, or maybe it's even a text message if you guys work different shifts, you know, give him a little props to or her. And just, you know, let them know that you appreciate the things that they did. Even those little small things that they wouldn't even expect any praise for, give it to them because it really goes the extra mile. And it allows for, for your relationship to really to, to thrive in a bigger way when everyone feels a very appreciated in, in what they're doing and how they're contributing. So try it out and let me know how that works for you. Now speaking of self-care, for daily reminders and inspiration and support around this subject, I have a really great group for you to join. It's called Love Mom XO and you can find it on Facebook. Just search for it. And it was founded by um, one of my colleagues, Megan Houston, who really, really believes and is so, so, so passionate in helping moms take care of themselves. Uh, her and I really bonded um, because we both had a hard time with postpartum, the, the baby blues, you know, where we really let um, the self-care go. And, um, and she's brought this beautiful group to Facebook, and I highly recommend that you, uh, that you seek it out and join it. And, um, and really get supported in that group. It's a really great one to be a part of. Okay, so nutrition. You don't have to eat perfectly. You don't have to, you know, give up everything. But we need to talk about whole foods and really whole food nutrition for the whole family. It's so important that we set that example and also that we feel fueling our bodies uh, to feel well and for long-term health. So a really general um, rule or recommendation is that you shop the perimeter of the grocery store where you'll find the whole foods. So foods that are um, minimally processed, um, that are just close to, to pure, pure form, right? 
So this is a Whole Foods grocery shopping list. I have it available for you for a PDF um, download so you can actually print off a whole bunch of them and keep it with you when you're shopping or use it as a shopping list for the week, just checking off what you need. Um, but really let's incorporate more whole foods into our diets, into our children's diets and just teach them how to just be eating more beautiful plants and be eating more foods that are that resemble how they started, right? Um, so I really recommend getting the family more towards whole foods. And uh, myself and the team Luscious Light Design, we can help you with that. We are a team of many holistic nutritionists and dietitians and naturopaths and and many different wellness coaches who can support you with lots of recipes and a lot of recommendations. So stick with us. But down, download this uh, PDF shopping list for sure. The next thing that we want to bring to your attention is the importance of supplementing for yourself and for your children. It is really important that you supplement. Um, every single um, wellness professional that I know agrees that supplementation helps to prevent disease. It helps to fill in the gaps. It helps with energy levels and immune system. Um, it's just really, it's part of, it's part of your holistic plan to incredible health. Um, it's important that you really take a, a product that you can trust. Um, USANA is hands down the only, um, the only supplement line I would give to my family because it is so affordable and it is, it is so, the quality is, no one comes close to it. It is the highest rated supplements in North America, actually, I think the world. And it is a trusted partner of the Dr. Oz Show, um, among many other um, um, beautiful credentials and accolades. But more importantly, it's a difference that you really can feel. I've been taking the products for seven years. <laughs> so I took them pregnant with both pregnancies and every single day. I can't actually imagine parenting without being on the essentials. Um, they really, really support me. And the moms that I help, the moms and the dads that I help to get on the essentials, they are so grateful for how they feel. It's so important that we take care of ourselves both now, short term, and also long term, so that we can be thriving grandparents one day. And to the grandparents listening, this what we want you to feel awesome too. So this is essentials for you and for uh, for your partner. It's really the foundation for optimal health right here. So if you're already eating incredibly, keep eating beautiful whole foods and continue on your wellness journey wherever you're at. But regardless of how you're eating, it's still important to take supplements. You can't possibly get every micronutrient that you need from just eating. It's pretty impossible unless that was your full-time job. <laughs> um, next is the Biomega. So um, along with the essentials, I recommend that all adults take the Biomega. Um, you know, the same way we put oil in our cars is the same way we need to put a high-quality fish oil in our bodies. So this helps with healthy brain function, so memory, cognitive, um, helps with any seasonal mood disorders, helps with anxiety, depression. It's also great for heart health. Um, it's also as a bonus, it helps with your beautiful hair and skin. I, that was one of the first things I noticed after taking the Biomega. Uh, and again, super important, non-negotiable in my, in my opinion, um, and the opinion of many health professionals to take high quality multivitamin and the highest quality fish oil that you can find. And next I recommend for our children that they are also supplementing. Um, some kids eat amazing, some don't. Regardless, they still need to be taking a high quality children's multivitamin. Um, both my boys take the Sonimals, which is pictured here in the middle, um, chewable multivitamin. Um, kids love it. It's the same price as Flintstones, totally doable. Um, Body Rocks is on the left, that's for teenagers. And on the right, this is the Biomega Junior, which is a fish oil for children. Very easy for them to take. They love it. It tastes good. You'll never get any complaints about them taking fish oil. Um, so the foundation for our children and for our children's health and for our health also needs to include the highest quality supplements and hands down, we recommend USANA. We are all ambassadors of USANA and we wouldn't, we wouldn't recommend any other products for, for nutritionals. You can trust your health and your family's health to USANA, hands down. 
the best. <laughs> and next, um, and when you're eating on the go and you're needing something quick, the, you know, there's a lot of different bars and shakes out there, but again, you want to take something that is high quality that you can be guaranteed that what's on the label is in the, the bottle without any additives or, you know, things like that. Um, my boys love the protein snacks as 12 grams of protein and the smoothies. We have everyone in the family uses the smoothie mix. We'll add a couple scoops with a banana, maybe some almond milk, maybe some spinach or whatever we're adding in there. And it's complete and it fuels all of us. And also for, um, you know, moms and dads who are looking to, you know, maybe lose a little weight, um, the, the Nutrimil is a great tool to help with that as well. The person who shared this with you can, can um, answer any additional questions about the USANA product line, um, but it's, we, we're all firm believers that it's important to have our supplements and also have tools to help us in our whole foods eating plan. We have a really great smoothie recipe ebook for you that's available for download where we've gathered our favorite smoothie recipes um, and uh, recipes that the whole family will love, even your pickiest eaters. So definitely request for that. The next topic that I would love to discover or share with you and, and really bring to your attention is conscious parenting and sharing what works for me and my family and some of the tips I've gathered from the team. So conscious parenting, we're influencing more peace, love, and mindfulness within the family. So I've recently began meditating with my oldest, who is uh, just turned five. And this is something that has proven to be really um, much easier than I thought it would be. And he's a pretty, you know, um, active uh, boy. And I'm sure many of you can relate to active, you know, children. They couldn't really imagine meditating. But it's totally doable uh, for him. You know, he he wrapped his head around it and got excited about the idea of, you know, you know, what ninjas do and things like that, right? But I have two guided meditations that um, I want to share with you um, that are available for, for download as well, the audio versions. But two super easy guided meditations. They're less than five minutes each. And you can sit down with your children, play them from your iPhone, and you can meditate with them. You will feel better, they will feel better, and you'll feel super connected to them, and you'll both have an incredible start to your day. It's just about really allowing yourself just to be in that moment, being connected to your breath, and just being, right, and connecting to something uh, bigger than ourselves. It's so, so, so beautiful. I highly recommend giving it a go at least and seeing what you think. But um, even the wildest, you know, most active children can meditate um, and do it with them, you know, and, and, and uh, don't knock until you check it, I'll say. <laughs> and the next thing I want to talk about is evening gratitude. So this is something that I started with my boy, my, my older boy, um, uh, when he was about, I would say, two. So it's been quite a while. And when, when I tuck him in to sleep at night, or, or my husband does, we have him list five, um, ten things that he's grateful for. So he puts up his little hands and he counts one at a time and says ten things that he's grateful for. And then myself or my husband, we do the same. So we're sharing our, the things that we're grateful for, much like a prayer, um, but really closing the night off in that way with him. Um, of, you know, bringing that gratitude to his heart and to his mind. Um, so he's feeling, he's going to bed with those beautiful feelings. And, um, you know, as you know, when you're, when you're grateful for things in your life, you can attract more, more abundance into your life. Um, teaching them how to be grateful is, is a really beautiful skill. It's easy. We can all do it. And it's a skill that they'll bring with them into their adulthood. And it gives them the power to, to shift the way that they're thinking if they're in a bad mood or if things aren't going their way. They can still, you know, look for what's, what they're grateful for in their life. And it's also a great reminder for us grown-ups too to, to be grateful for everything in our life um, every single day. It really shifts the energy from, from, you know, things maybe feeling okay to feeling so much more expansive. And, um, and just so happy and blissful. 
highly recommend it. Okay, so next I want to bring to your attention a very simple tool again, totally attainable, is breathing, a tool for the whole family. Now pictured here is Gabriella with her daughter. Gabriella is a, a children's yoga instructor here locally where I am, and she teaches meditation to the kids as well. This is her with her daughter. Um, and I actually, I captured this, this moment um, we were at a wellness event that Gabriella was hosting at her house, and Gabriella has recovered from cancer. And over the last few years, she's she's really practiced a lot more self care than she ever has, including her yoga practice, meditation. Uh, she's become a yoga instructor. Um, but right at this moment, um, we were talking about the Usana multivitamins, and um, we asked her, we asked her daughter, we said. Have you noticed a difference in your mom since taking the, the USANA vitamins? And she hugged her and she didn't look on her face is right there, you're looking at it. And she said yes, but you could just feel like that that beautiful feeling of when mom's healthy and happy and taken care of and um, and how that can affect your children, right? So so beautiful. A little bit off topic, but I had to share this picture. And also Gabrielle is a great resource for teaching breath work. But breathing is so simple, you guys. It's simply breathing, right? So let's talk about this. So if you can ask your children, you know, to to remind you to take a breath, if just say if mommy or daddy's feeling frustrated or you know, if, if you if you think that I need it, you can just remind me, say, Mommy, take a take a deep breath, and I'll do the same thing for you. So as a rule in your family. Yeah, everyone's reminding everyone to take a deep breath when they need it. Now, the person who's actually, you know, feeling frustrated or anxious at the time, it's probably the last thing that they're going to want to hear and may resist it, right? But, um, you know, you can imagine how it sounds, you know, when, from a little one's, little one's mouth, four years old, and they're telling you to take a deep breath, right? Mommy, take a deep breath. And even though you may resist it, you'll do it and you'll feel better. So everyone who's listening right now, just take a deep breath and feel the difference in your body, right? It's so simple and we all can do it. So bringing that beautiful, free, easy gift into our family, teaching our children that they can calm themselves, they can reset their body simply by breathing. Now the last topic I want to talk to you about is freedom. So what is freedom in your family? What could it look like? What does it look like? Imagine if you could wake up on a Monday and just say, like, you know what, guys? We're going to have a family day. Or it's a Tuesday, and you're like, you know what? Let's just, let's just do something else today. Let's go to the zoo, right? Or I'm going to pick you guys up early from school today because I'm in control of my, of my schedule, and we're going to go on a little mini staycation somewhere. Or, 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 or you're going to go on a road trip or, you know, just but you're in control of your time. You have the time freedom. No one's in, in no one's in control of your time but you. What would that how would that feel? How would you live your life differently if you were in control of your time? Freedom is the absolute ultimate luxury. And as a family, it's everything. There's nothing better than that. So for me, my my life of freedom that I've created, not overnight, but over the last seven years. It has allowed us a lifestyle where both me and my husband are home with the boys. It's allowed us a lifestyle where we can make decisions based on what's best for our family and not simply because of you know finances. So we choose to put the boys in a really great um, Montessori, even though we we could be home with them. We put them in a couple of days so that they can experience that. That's freedom. Freedom is saying, you know, that he, they're not going to Montessori one day because we want to just go paddleboarding, right? So freedom is absolutely something that you can have, whether you love your career or whether you're an entrepreneur or not, you can still create a little bit of freedom in your life. And Luscious Life Design, our partnership, can teach you how to do that. 
And we won't go into too much details about it here, but if you're curious about how all of us incredible, you know, moms around the globe are living these lifestyles and, and, and talking about freedom, you can too, you know, none of us have anything that you don't. Uh, we're simply um, moms who are really inspired and want to help people to thrive. And if that resonates with you, if you like the vibe of Luscious Life Design, you want to know more, please message the person that sent this to you and they can actually send you a really um, uh, short overview. It's about 30 minutes where you can learn about Luscious Life Design and all it has to offer you and, and the freedom that it can create for you and your family. So a little recap here on how to put this into action. So join the movement online, Thriving Family, and talk about the village mentality. Use the hashtags. You can also join us on the hashtag Luscious Life Design. Make your do, have, and be list and put it to work. Put it somewhere you can see it. Put it on your fridge or put it somewhere where you'll, where you'll see it often and start to take some beautiful inspired action and, and put it in crossing some of those things off the list. It'll probably happen naturally just by you putting it out there. Next is evening praise. Give yourself props. Give your partner props for the great job that you're doing. You're doing so much every day. You should be really proud of, of everything that you're doing. You're, you're, you're already a super mama. Join the Love Mom XO group on Facebook and get supported and inspired and reminded to practice self-care every day. Receive our free Whole Foods shopping list and smoothie ebook. Um, we just request that you like the page Luscious Life Design on Facebook. We have a public page on Facebook, Luscious Life Design. So like it and then request the Whole Foods shopping list and smoothie ebook from the person who sent this to you. Next, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you order yourself and your kids the best nutritionals. So order yourself some essentials and some Biomega and order your children either the Body Rocks or the Usonimals and the Biomega Junior because you deserve the best and so do they and it's truly the Usana difference that you can feel. Give it a try. I guarantee you, you'll love it, love it, love it. Invest in your health. So try one of the easy guided meditations with your children. Request the audios from the person who sent this to you. Next, try some evening gratitude with your children when you're tucking them into bed. It feels really good and also really helps them to seal their day and teaches them how to bring gratitude into their lives. Next, take a breather and talk about breath all the time. Talk about taking a deep breath to reset for yourself and for the kids. And learn more about what Luscious Life Design can offer you. Explore it. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but you have nothing to lose. And if you like what we, what we shared in this overview, I would love for you to learn more about what our tribe can offer you as well. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and for listening to me. It's been my absolute pleasure and honor. And I would love to be a part of helping you and your family thrive. Thank you.